creepy crawlies, mini beasts, bugs, invertebrates, no matter what you call them, they're found everywhere. It's a shame they have a bad rep for being scary. Okay. Or for munching all the veggies in your garden, because there's more than meets the eye in these critters. Today, we'll talk about how to find and observe bugs in your backyard. We'll also talk about why they're so crucial to having a healthy garden. Bugs do some pretty important chores in your backyard. For one, they break down or decompose all the dead stuff. So fallen leaves, twigs, food scraps, you name it, they eat it. Some bugs like bees, butterflies and wasps also help in pollination. They hop from flower to flower, transporting pollen and helping these plants make fruits and seeds and make more plants. Let's just say it's really fruitful to have these bugs in the garden. Some bugs make great food for many of our native birds, including the peewakawaka or the fantail. Other bugs do all the eating themselves, controlling the populations of the bugs that they're feeding on. They're pretty much running a show in your garden, so let's go on a bug hunt and see what we can find in your backyard. Bugs are the masters of hiding. You can find them in bushes and trees, and even hiding underneath leaves. Ground bugs love to hide under rocks and plant pots, and some even drill into wood to hide inside it. But the bug gold mine in every backyard is your compost bin, where all the decomposers hide. It's useful to observe bugs in their natural habitat. Make a note of where you found them and what they were doing. If you want a better look at your bug, then it's a good idea to get a container and a long paintbrush. You can then gently coax your bug into your container. You can then view it up close and also take photographs. To get bugs that live higher up in the tree, grab a buddy and an old sheet. Hold the sheet under the tree and give the tree a good old shake and then watch it rain with bugs. Sheet shaking is really fun, but I know a sneakier way to capture ground bugs in your garden. You can use something called a pitfall trap. Here's how to make one. First, find a clear plastic jar or container. Find a space in your garden and dig a hole just wide and deep enough to put your jar in. Put the jar inside and make sure the edge of your jar is at the same level as the ground. You can put your palm on top to make sure it is. Pack mud around your jar to keep it still and to make sure the mud reaches the edge of your jar. Next, make an umbrella to cover the top so no rain or falling leaves go in. For this, just take a piece of cardboard that covers the top of your jar and poke four nails or even four kebab sticks around the edge. Now stick these into the ground over your jar and make sure you can fit at least two fingers under your umbrella so bugs can walk into it. Check your pitfall trap every day to see what bugs have fallen in. Have a good look at your bug. It can be really tricky to identify some bugs because there are so many different species. Here in New Zealand we have over 1,000 species of native spider and over 4,500 species of beetles. What makes it even harder is that insects have different stages that don't look anything alike. So sometimes the babies, teenagers and adults look completely different from one another. I like to keep track of all the bugs I find using a really special bug score sheet. The easiest way to figure out what bug you've got is to first count how many legs it has, see if it has any wings, and what shape the body is. You can also find some really cool markings that make it different from all the other bugs. 
there are other resources available to help you identify your bug. We'll post some links below to help you out. We'll share photos and videos of the awesome bugs that we find, but we're also very keen to see what you find. So get your hat on and get out for a bug hunt. And then when you're done, post your photos and videos to us on Facebook. Now get bug hunting. If you guys haven't noticed today, I'm wearing my spider earrings. It's almost like it ate a hole in my ear and laid its eggs inside it.